Hey guys, welcome back once again to another episode of the Alabanaga show. Today we have two gorgeous women here in the studio, you know, very successful entrepreneurs and then it's all about women empowerment, <laughs> women power today. Uh, first we have a guest, you know, Toyna Lee Chopi, the founder of Beauty Barn, an e-commerce platform, you know, that has introduced Korean beauty to uh, products to India and has helped over 20 plus Korean beauty brands, you know, launched in India since its launch in 2017. And uh, she, along with her team, have created brand awareness campaign, you know, like crazy and marketing strategies, you know, earning a reputation as a reliable partner for Korean brands out here in India. And we also have another guest, uh, Analia Jimomi, uh, very famous on social media also, you know, the founder of uh, Analia Beauty, where luxury is now affordable. That's their take line, you know. Uh, they have premium lashes, velvet, microfiber sponge, makeup brush set. You know, we're going to talk lots about that. Uh, she's a celebrated uh, makeup artist and educator and very successful entrepreneur. So without further ado, let me welcome Analia and Toy Nali. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hello. Thank Hi. you so Hi. much for having us here. Welcome. Thank you so much welcome. for having us. Honored to be here. So... Thank you for taking our time. You guys are so busy. I know that, you know, in spite of your busy schedule, you took our time and you especially, you know, uh, yeah. not just not just a business woman, but then also a homemaker, a mother, a wife, you know, you play so many roles and you yeah. still took our time. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much also. for yeah. having me. Yeah. So let's go straight. I want to give this moment to you guys to introduce yourself in your own style, you know, about your background, about your family, anything that you want our viewers to know. So maybe we start with Analia. Yeah. Okay, uh, so for those who don't know me, I'm Analia Zimomi. I'm a, a brand makeup artist and an educator. And on my way to being a full-time entrepreneur, I come from a really huge family, a family of eight children. I'm number seven. Maybe that's the reason why I'm quite loud because you have to, you know, mm -hmm. be loud to be heard in the big family. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was out all my life. I was studying in Shimla in a boarding school and then I went to Missouri, then Assam, then Delhi, London, back. I moved to Nagaland two days ago. I'm sorry, two yeah. years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two years ago. I actually also moved back because of the lockdown. It did help mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Plus, uh, I moved back because, you know, my dad always said, it's always, you, you might as well just be a big fish in a small pond than to be a, you know, uh, a small fish mm -hmm. in a big sea. So, that's why I'm here. Thank you so much. Yeah, please. Hi, everyone. I'm Toina, and um, I'm a mother of three kids. My daughter is 10, and I have an eight and a five-year-old son. Um, growing up, uh, I think I was a very studious and mm -hmm. quite kid, and my parents always wanted me to write for exams and get a stable mm -hmm. government job. And then, but then. Um, I got married right after my master's and then I did try for exams for one or two years, but okay. I felt like it was not my calling. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm grateful to my husband because he also gave me the freedom, like, mm -hmm. to do whatever I wanted. And so that led me to start a series of, you know, businesses. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, like, after, like, uh, I tried a couple of businesses and all of these businesses were kind of failures and okay, also, okay. you know, a lot of losses. Uh -huh. So my husband told me, like, you know, if the, whatever you do, this is going to be your last venture. Okay. So it turned out to be Beauty Barn. That's such a do or die, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, like, when I started Beauty Barn, uh, mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about the business because I didn't have any work experience. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, I would ask my husband for help for every little thing. Mm -hmm. Then, like, you know, I would be so stressed and, like, so tense for so many like there were so many technical i mean like you yeah, know so many work paperwork true, true. and mm -hmm. all these things so <clears throat> so he would like help me help me help me and then eventually he got stuck with me in the business uh -huh. so today we are like you know business partners wow. and he takes care yeah. of a lot of things that i i i'm not able to uh, you know i'm not good at mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he's also my biggest supporter my wow, strength wow. and also my mentor mm -hmm. in the business yeah wow also sh shout out to your husband man. yeah yeah i mean we could relate what you were saying about the parents i'm sure you also yes. tried preparing for <laughs> yes, exams did, yeah did, yes. so all of us you know like there was a moment where i think we groomed the same yeah. you know generation where every parents is like government, government job, job like yeah. npc npc you know 
And then, uh, like, for those who don't know, she's the daughter of, like, in the legendary politician, Kekiho, Jimomi. So I'm sure, like, growing up, you might have a lot of expectations also, right? You know? Yes, definitely. Uh, mm. I was also pressurized, pressurized like every other Naga child because mm -hmm. of the reservations that we have. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. uh, after I got back from London, I was forced and I wanted to do because my dad wanted me to try, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I did do it for a year. But my heart was not there. And, you know, I did, I don't know how I got this wisdom at such a young age, but I told my mm -hmm. dad, like, instead of earning so much and not being happy, because mm -hmm. it's like you're married to a job. 70% mm -hmm. of, of your life is with a job. Yep. You take a job back home. So I don't want to be one of those who, like, earn, like, a lot mm -hmm. and is unhappy. Mm -hmm. I might as well earn something which, is, which will give me a good, comfortable life, mm -hmm. and I'm really happy with my job. So that's when I told my dad, you know, okay. give me a chance to prove you and in case I fail, I will do what you want me to do. Wow. And I feel, <clears throat> and I believe that makeup is my soulmate because ever since I started it, like there was no looking back mm -hmm. and it's been 10 years now. 10 plus years actually. Wow, wow. So, um, yeah. we, we are so proud of your achievements. Of course, fashion and consistency, and yeah, of course. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we see even a lot of celebrities, you know, you've been working with them. We'll talk later about those things also. We're really proud and then not forgetting you, Toyna, you know, it's now Beauty Barn is like, it's boom right now. Like every <laughs> every girl, not only girl, even guys, but then mm. everybody knows about that right yeah. now. And then like thanks to K-pop, thanks to K-drama, you know, uh, we 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 want to have the glossy skin. <laughs> we want to have glossy, you know, and then glass skin. Glass yeah. skin, and then now the products is available here. And thanks to you, you know, mm. yeah, you 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 did talk a little bit about how you started, but can you tell us like how did it all happen? The connections and like this beauty thing. Mm. Were you interested in all this cosmetics and all this uh, like in the beauty products? No, but I think it was like maybe it was my you know like it was my calling because okay, okay. I mean all through my teens and twenties I struggled with terrible skin so I was always going to some dermatologist or trying out different products mm -hmm. and then like after my second son my skin really got bad gotcha. like I couldn't even look at myself in the mirror uh -huh. then someone mm -hmm. introduced me to like Korean beauty products gotcha. and then when I started using it kind of like worked on me wow. and then I think it was it was around 2016-17 okay. so I think that was a time when the Korean wave was happening around the uh -huh. world yeah, and yeah. there were a lot of uh, Korean American like YouTubers talking mm -hmm. about uh, you know like the 10 step Korean skincare routine oh, and it's how it's like they were educating on how uh, you know how their targeted products for targeted skin concerns so all this that eventually led me into the k-beauty world mm -hmm. yeah so when i started beauty barn for me also my goal was to educate and help people understand their skin and okay. get better skin because even me i like really struggled with okay. that skin. so analia you were studying in london but you were not studying makeup right there so I'm a business student, so okay, okay. I was doing my master's in international management and marketing achha, here. Achha. Then so how I, did you land up in like the makeup thing? Uh, yeah, that's funny because like a lot of uh, students, they ask me, you know, like, I mean, students means like girls, boys, can I drop out? But I, the thing is to be a makeup artist, there's an illusion that people think like you don't have to be an educated person, mm -hmm. but honestly, like to be a makeup artist, you have to look the part, you have to like, Mm -hmm. I cannot be having terrible makeup or like the way I speak, my, my speaking skills, communication skills, that's true. how you build clients. Yeah. So I true, think it's true, really true. important, whatever job that you do, whether you're a cricketer or makeup artist or any, mm -hmm. any uh, mm -hmm. uh, profession in like the entertainment mm -hmm. sector, you still have to complete your education because yeah, sure. that's what sets you apart from the rest. So, yeah. Wow, that's a lovely answer. And she's a like super smart businesswoman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, no wonder she <laughs> did so her degree. So yeah, yeah. yeah, I really look up to her. Hey. Yeah, wow, <laughs> wow, wow. Self-made woman, so yeah. true, inspiration. True, true. So I'm, um, I'm, I'm so blank right now. But then, yeah. Uh, let's talk about your business. Okay, the the Analia Beauty, you know, line. How, how did you all start? You know, you were you, you were known as that's, a makeup yeah, artist, that's right? That's a very nice now, question. The, yeah. So uh, basically, for me, uh, Analia Beauty is actually a luxury makeup line, and it is actually it started because. I want to make makeup simple, Achha. like traditional, simple, classic, because I hate options. And even like 
when I was not a makeup artist, I would look at videos, so many trending music, videos, and TikToks, all that. But for a layman person, it's so confusing. Mm -hmm. So even the products that Anali Beauty has, mm -hmm. it's all very traditional, very simple, not too many options, but it's right out there for you. So we also gonna come up with like more products as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the next in line that we're coming up is like eyeshadow palettes, and that is gonna be Nagaland's first eyeshadow palette, because it's gonna be like tribal eyeshadow palettes. Okay. And I want to promote Nagaland in the process of promoting myself as well, mm -hmm. and uplift Nagaland. Okay. Because it's going to be uh, India's first uh, luxury beauty line born from Nagaland. Wow. So, I also, like I said, the main uh, idea behind Anala Beauty was to provide luxury quality at the most affordable price. When I say affordable, I won't say cheap because we are giving you luxury world-class quality. Mm -hmm. So, as, as an artist... To apply makeup, you have to have perfect tools. That's how I started with brushes. Wow. So, and then we are building on. Mm. So, like I said, let you know. Me also, <laughs> let me also add up, like, uh, she has, like, client. Uh, I mean, people, celebrities like uh, Sonam Kapoor, right? Uh, Shilpa Shetty, Pariniti Chopra, they all use her product. Mm. Oh, wow, yeah, man, wow. that's like... <laughs> I mean, I've been a makeup artist. Can you name some of the celebrities you have done? Like, so you know? honestly speaking, I'm not a celebrity makeup artist. I'm mm. a bridal makeup artist. Bridal, yeah. But on my way, like, yeah. uh, I, I did fly to uh, Colombo. Yeah, Colombo for Nagris Fakri's makeup. Wow. So, yeah. Uh, mm. I was quite nervous, actually, because, oh, my God, how's it going to be like? But then she was really chill. How's her skin, really, you know? Oh, she's a really, really pretty really? girl. Really? Wow. Yeah, yeah. We, we, and really chill. Like, oh, awesome. We're chilling the same room together. I was quite nervous, but, yeah. She was really okay. nice. Now, cool let's experience. come back to Toyna again. Uh, you be been a mother, you know, like a, a homemaker, wife, and then you have your in-laws to take care of, you have every, everything, then the business, how do you balance work and all <laughs> Super the <mom>. personal, yeah, <laughs> Super lady. How, how, how do you balance, give us, take us through your daily routine, you know, <laughs> see, as a mom, your children yeah. start going to school, right, <laughs> mm, yeah, so yeah. pick up, dropping all the stuff, can you please tell us, take us through your daily routine, yeah, <laughs> and in between content creator as well, yeah, content yeah. creator yeah. also, yeah, <laughs> true, thanks for adding that, yeah. Yeah, for me, uh, I think like there is no such thing as balance, but achha, I achha. try to prioritize my time. Okay, okay. Like there are chunks of time where I give, uh, you know, my time for my kids, mm -hmm. like their education or like in the morning when they wake up, I, I make sure that I give them quality time before they go to school. Mm -hmm. And then after they go to school, like my, I mean, they go to school very, very early, like at seven o'clock. Then from seven to nine, I try to take time for myself to do like, sort of, like, you know, to take care of myself. Or if I sometimes I try to work out or just physical, mental, everything like, you know, just that time. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I go to work. But I try to come home before, like by the time my kids are home. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think... Wow. But for me, I think like, you know, like I said, balance is just impossible, but mm -hmm. I think prioritizing is so important, yeah. Yeah, but having said that, I mean, we want to give a shout out to your husband also. I mean, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I mean he's the husband. most supportive husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yes. I mean, if no, he's the most supportive. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not all men can yeah, take yeah. True, powered true. women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let me ask both of you one question. Uh, give us insight of, I mean, the key ingredient or unique formulation that make your products okay stand out in the market. Why do you like? Suppose okay, I want to buy your product. Why should people buy your product, or why should people go for the Korean beauty pr product? You know, advertisement. Let's talk about you. Uh, I feel like, and I think I would speak on her behalf as well, I feel like people can relate to me because I'm a makeup artist mm -hmm. and I have been there dealing with different skin, different features. I know exactly what goes for what. Gotcha, so gotcha. if an expert in that industry is coming up with products, mm -hmm. it means she has done her research quite well. And uh, the products that we have, like even the eyelashes, mm -hmm. is just three types. There's so Some brands have too many products. But for me, I came up with only three because... I know exactly what eye shape will go for what eye, uh, eyelashes. Mm. And like I said, I don't like too many options. I like to make sim makeup very simple. Mm, so it. the fact that the product is coming from an expert, I guess that's what makes us very unique. Mm -hmm. And also having said that, I would just like to save her a little bit. Like uh, for her, she's been through a lot with her skin. Mm -hmm. So somebody who's been through a lot with her skin and experience and had first-hand experience, yeah. when that person comes up with skincare products be it like outsourcing or her own a person like a client can relate yeah, to her true, true, that's true, the reason true. why i feel that also pushed your yeah, process yeah. to it. like being very authentic with yeah, our yeah, yeah authentic and correct yes, i mean yes. being the best testimony for our products mm -hmm. yeah. exactly if you don't believe in your products yeah, you will. yeah 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 and can you please talk about a little bit about korean products you know uh, is it we have the same skin type or is it like why do you oh, think see, this a lot of, of yeah, yeah a lot of people say like 
Korean products don't suit my skin. Like some people say that. Nah, but okay. I think whether it's Korean or whether it's anywhere in the world, I think it's all about the ingredients and so how true. they formulate. Yes. So like, achha, you know, they achha. have very advanced technology. Like, you know, oh. we have been trying out like some products here, but the, I mean, once you start using K-beauty products, nah, it's like the, the standards are too high. Achha. You know, you don't want to use any, yeah. any other thing, like, you know, anymore. The mm. texture, the effectiveness, how they are very targeted for every skin concern. I mean, that's what you know ma makes them like globally, wow. you know, like because they have well a really known. high bar to be to pass that yeah. bar and to like able to yeah. uh, have your own products. Mm. Mm. And so, they are very innovative. Yeah, that yeah. yeah. Wow. That's, that's true. Ingredients. That's mm -hmm. the key. Now let's talk about uh, digital marketing because I see both of you very active on social media. You know, you you are a content creator. I see all the reels. Yes. Which, you know. <laughs> with you and you have so many social media influencers behind you and uh, so many amazing women, girls working with you and Anali also very, very active on social media and also uh, your giveaways are like so crazy, man. Lacks, lacks of products, man. It's like, crazy. Manuhan, oh my God. Anjimi, one like, super generous. three legs, over generous, yeah. you know. So uh, that's a very good strategy also, I mean, for, for, I mean, from a business point of view. So let's talk about digital marketing, how important it is, you know, today and also about e-commerce and all. From your experience, would you like to share some, you know, about digital marketing, how important it is? Because I still believe that there are a lot of entrepreneurs who are so zero. They might be good, they might have the best product, but they're very zero in this digital marketing and all. So would you like I, to share something yeah. from your experience and all? Yeah, I, I think things. in today's world, uh -huh. if you own a business, if you're a business owner, it's so important to have digital online presence. Yeah. Otherwise, like, you know, even if you have the best product, you wouldn't, I mean, you're not going anywhere. Yeah, so, true, true. I mean, that's very important. And for us, like, uh, <clears throat> I think like when I started, uh, you know, my uh, website and mm -hmm. then I started mm -hmm. building my team, I think I understood the importance of content creating and like, you know, uh, the, the, I mean, in digital marketing, there's so many uh, work. I mean, like there's so many things like email marketing, <laughs> I mean, uh, email, SEOs, YouTube, like there's so many things. And also like, you know, there's so many, uh, I mean, some people say like there's no job, but in the di digital marketing there's so many job scopes also now mm -hmm. so like i mean we we have built a team we have built a full team where we not only create content or just youtube or you know those things but we also do like email you uh, like i said all this there are so many yeah, other yeah. things that are involved yeah wow so so you have around 35 people yeah, under yeah, you, right yeah. wow that's big <laughs> uh, what about you yeah uh for me but Anale Beauty, we are still starting mm -hmm. and it's a startup. So indirectly, we have uh, seven people right Achha. now. But you, you're coming up with an Analia Academy yeah. also, right? So mm -hmm. Analia, uh, basically, you know, um, my plan is actually to retire uh, by 40 as a makeup artist and educator. Oh, really? And to be a full-time entrepreneur. So okay, that's okay, my, okay. If not, not I was like, oh. my job. <laughs> okay, okay. So, yeah, talk about makeup by Analia. I mean, your school, the academy that you're planning. Can Correct. you talk about it? Then? So, uh, the reason why I also came up with that is because uh, I, when I charged, like, the pricing that I, I had some students, I mean, a lot of students, they find it expensive. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but I also want to be able to teach and train them. So, uh, when I say I want to retire in the next uh, five years by 40, I mean, as an educator and mm -hmm. as a makeup artist. And uh, I want to tie with the government. So, who were... Uh, it's a message for you to listen. <laughs> I would want to tie with the government and have the government scheme where I'll have my trainers who are trained by me and of course affiliated with the government and trained by them and then my trainers will be teaching those students who cannot afford to pay too much where I am teaching. Uh -huh. And of course, I would be a guest faculty there. But So that's the uh, plan with uh, Makeup Anal Academy. Sure. And with Anale mm -hmm. Beauty, the plan is to make it the next big makeup brand in India, mm -hmm. born from Nagaland. Wow. Like I said, while I'm promoting myself, I want to promote my state as well because wow. there's no such brand that's born in Nagaland. Mm -hmm. So all my products, I'm trying to, I want to try to make it more like tribal, uh, like example, like we said, like eyeshadow palettes are going to be tribal and it's going to be all the Naga uh, tribes, mm. the shades. Wow. So that's the next plan and we'll see how it goes. Wow. Well, we, we, we wish you the best and I'm sure it'll do good. It'll do good. Yeah. And I also want to, I've been saying this from before, I really want to come and t learn like at least the yes. basic makeup, you know, because yeah. as a man being in, uh, you know, in, in this in entertainment industry, we just put whatever is there and go up on the stage and we need to look good. So I would definitely come and learn from you. You've been saying that you have to come. I will, I will come <laughs> and we'll make a real this about Yeah, that, it'll right? be fun. Yeah. Now, la last uh, serious question 
mean, uh, I mean, as a woman leading, you know, your company, uh, do you feel or do you worry that a strong female CEO, uh, you will intimidate men? <laughs> I honestly, I just feel like I'm, I'm just a diff mm. weird person, different person. I'm just a very confident person myself. Mm. So I don't feel like I will intimidate any men that I have to impress because uh, a, a, a strong, confident man will never be intimidated by a strong, confident woman. So if well the man said. is intimidated, then I don't have to impress that person. Ooh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> last, last basic uh, skin care tips for men mm. and women, like basic skin care, like maybe. I think everyone has to have a cleanser, toner, moisturizer and sunscreen. Yes, I mean, sunscreen. A CTM, CTM. Sunscreen is important. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So oh. even if you don't do anything, you Watch need out. to have a cleanser, yes. cleanser. a basic moisturizer Watch so out. that, you know, your, your skin, skin barrier is protected and then sunscreen for protection. Wow. So, so uh, three, even uh, when you're indoors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really indoors? Yeah. Because it does not pro uh, protect from UVB uh, areas. Mm. So it's UVA, UVB. Right? B, just remember, B is burning, A is aging. So when you're inside, it can protect you from the burning rays, but not from the aging rays. So <laughs> you <laughs> need <laughs> to... <laughs> First, <laughs> cleanser, yeah. moisturizer, uh, and arrow sunscreen. You don't know like skin woman. Are you do beauty barn di jagni kini o paro? For those who uh, don't know, the Metro shop. Hospital la uh, atan la yeah. shop to uh, Metro Hospital la uh, next building do ase Najani na thagi la di ma pordan. Aro Anali la Academy do thick uh, thin mile check ek gate osor dasse, right? Okay. I have Thank you for the promotion. Over I'm sweating. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, here. Yes. I'm uh, dripping in sweat. Yeah. La, so <laughs> we, we're gonna go up and then we're gonna come back after this break while the girls okay. get some fresh air. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Welcome back to the second segment and uh, conversation with Analia and Toina. So we are going to play uh, the grill. It's rapid fire basically. So I want answer rapid as you can. Okay. So if you're not comfortable, you can dodge it. No problem. Okay. okay? So uh, are you single? No. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just got single, so I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> What's one thing you love most about yourself? I think I always make my weakness my strength. Okay, good. Yes. Uh, if you could be invisible for a day, what's the first thing you would do? Oh my God, I cannot think. <laughs> okay, it's, it's both for both of you also. If you're invisible for a day, what, what would you like to do? Where would you go? It's supposed to be rapid fire, man. <laughs> I can't think of it. Uh, <laughs> the worst rapid fire, so sorry. That's a, no, it's okay, it's I never okay. thought of that. Skip, yeah. Okay, skip. <laughs> skip okay, uh, current crush? Any celebrity or anybody? Oh. Crush any? Mm, no crush. I don't have a crush. No. Oh, no. What's the last person you stalked on social media? I, I stopped. Uh, it's on my phone, but some person. <laughs> Okay, okay. Somebody who, I, who, somebody who I thought was cute, I stalked him. Okay. No, no, I don't, I don't know. Okay, okay. Uh, what's the easiest way to PC you? Oh, to be a sweet talker to me. Oh. <laughs> mm, I don't remember. I am. Okay. Have you ever gone skinny dipping? Yes. No, <laughs> yeah. no, no. Okay, okay. Uh, what's your worst habit? Uh, my worst habit is I'm too impatient. Okay. I eat and sleep. <laughs> eat and sleep, okay. Yeah. What's the biggest secret you have kept from your parents? Uh, I had a car crash at 23 and I did not tell them at that time. Okay, so. what's the biggest secret you have kept from your husband? <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Would you like to review? No. Okay, thank you. Uh, have you ever started a rumor about someone? Uh, no, no. You? No, no. Okay. What's the craziest thing a boy has ever done for you? 
the craziest thing, I, I, I think like every ex becomes psycho, you know? <laughs> and they, they record the stuff. <laughs> so I think every boy has a crazy stuff. Oh, you want to ask you? Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Psycho guys. You, yeah. what's, the, <laughs> what's the most embarrassing thing you've done? No, having said that, even I become psycho. I, mean, I think every ex becomes psycho, yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're all psycho. What's, yeah, the most psycho. what's the most embarrassing thing you've done to get a crush's attention? Uh, I must have texted some stupid stuff and then regret it for the rest of my life. Well, okay. what, what about you? I mean, let's talk about your before marriage also. Oh, yeah. maybe, maybe your, <laughs> no, I don't know. Embarrassing thing you've done to get someone's attention. I mean, well, maybe I think you maybe send a message by yeah, mistake. Oh, <laughs> mistake, <laughs> yeah. By mistake. Yeah. <laughs> 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 huh? Okay, what gross smell do you actually enjoy? Uh, mm, chalk or rain, dust. Really? What was you? Oh, yeah, I mean like uh, the... With the rains? Yeah, after the, the rain. Yes, yeah. You enjoy that? Okay. I love that. Okay. Nice, it's okay. Now, yeah. first thing that comes in your mind when I say the following word. Gigolo. Oh my god. What? Gigolo. <laughs> Somebody's name came but I don't want to say that. Naga or Barmanda? Naga! But I want to say it. Okay. I don't know, it sounds like a tribal sound. <laughs> okay. uh, holiday. Bahamas? One thing that comes in your mind, Japan. holiday. Okay, <laughs> yeah. marriage. Uh, sacred. LGBTQ plus plus plus. Totally support. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, your favorite Naga YouTuber? You. <laughs> favorite makeup artist? Goss, Wayne Goss. Okay, Anali, I mean, Analia, right? <laughs> okay. I support. Okay, okay. Favorite model? Favorite model? Let's talk about Naga. Uh, Honestly, I don't have a favorite model, but I love to work in different faces, different shapes, different sizes. So, it's just no favorite. From Nagalin, anyone? I don't know, but I, uh, it's Rufo model. Rufo, yeah, 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 yeah you can put it. Okay, okay, yeah, fine. Cool, oh, Rufo, right? Rufo. Miss Nagalin, uh, Rufo, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, she's gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, favorite and very singer. very talented, very brilliant. Mm. Favorite singer would be Alaba Naga. You're <laughs> putting too much masala here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Favorite singer. Uh. I think BTS. <laughs> okay, BTS. Okay. Uh, favorite politician? Uh, favorite politician would be um, my dad. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Yeah, you don't like politicians? <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> On that note, we're going to take a break and we'll come back. So welcome back to the last segment of the Albunaga show in conversation with Analia and Toina. So today we are going to play this truth or shot, okay? So this segment is sponsored by Nagalin Coffee, obviously our, our, our brew partner. So we have this shot here and then it's very simple. If you want to answer, please answer. If you don't want to answer, you just have the shot, okay? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay, uh... It this the first thing is just uh, yes and no. That's it. Nothing. Okay. Ever hooked up in a public place? Yes. <laughs> I don't know if I want to put this. Okay. No. Okay. Hooked up, you mean kiss, right? Okay. Let's take it. Yeah. Okay. 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 This is a very Christian show. So. Okay. Uh, the reveal all the details of your first kiss. You want to reveal or you want to have a shot? Uh. Watching this, I'm gonna have a shot. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I, I love it. Okay, uh, uh, can I have some water? <laughs> yeah, sure, 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 sure. 
uh, one of the worst Nagam makeup artists. I have no idea. So do I, do I have to look at I'm not aware. <laughs> okay. But there's someone in your mind. Huh? Okay. Uh, okay. Name the Karina Kapoor in your circle who can who can't keep se secret and always bitch about others. Uh, oh my God! Yeah, you are gonna make us coffee high. But you have someone in your mind. Okay. That was okay. for you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, so, did you drink? You don't have the other one. Okay, to make a part this okay, one. Fine, <laughs> so it it's one equally so yeah, 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 yeah. What's the worst things <laughs> anyone has ever done to you, like in their name? Uh, crazy. The worst thing anyone has ever done to me would be betrayal of trust. Mm -hmm. Why? By a friend who I don't talk to anymore. Okay. Yeah, because for me, I'm such a dedicated friend. I give my 100% relational friends. So, uh, have any message to that friend? <laughs> I don't want to tell. You? Yeah, I think for me also, like, you know, sharing, like, I mean, trusting that person and, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. sharing, uh, you know, like my, all these things and then, Please say something to the As person. Should we overgive? Please, please give a message to the person. Any, anything. No, I think I've, I've let go. I've let go. That person, so I okay. won't say anything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is fun, Alia. This one. If you could hook up with one of your friends, who would be? Wait, one of my friends? Mm. Hook up. Let's say it's Kiss. Yeah, no, it's, uh, but that's the reason your definition. the person is my friend because I don't find the person attractive. Okay. Because if it was attractive, I would have had something with that person. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. All your friends are... Fine. They're bro zoned. <laughs> okay, bro zoned, huh? Very, very simple. The last one, uh, one Naga model who shouldn't be a model. I'm not aware of any Naga models. <laughs> Those are question for. Both of you. I think we're going to be really high. <laughs> <laughs> Just pick up. She has to pick up her stuff. <laughs> she, she's not answering anything, man. <laughs> You're going to put us in danger. <laughs> I'm crying. Okay, well, for 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 you, what what, what really bad habit about your husband? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he doesn't talk much, so it really uh, irritates me. Okay. I'm dying. <laughs> okay. This. Anyway, anyway, um, thank you so much for yeah, being sport. Yeah. Thank you so much, and then I hope you're not drunk. Anyway, that's just coffee because it's a dry. We you know we really wanted to do like others, you know, put vodka and all but then we are dry state we don't get yeah. alcohol in Nagalin, you know so yes so we did it with coffee which is available organic you know so now before we end i want to uh, get some advice from you guys uh, how to grow business you know for people entrepreneurs who are watching or like small entrepreneurs you know any advice to grow business you know please yeah i think uh if you're like a small time uh business just from your home of course you have to micromanage but if you are thinking of making it big and growing you cannot single-handedly micromanage everything it's really important that you set compartmentalize and have different tasks for different people and having said that yes you will have to give them uh, salaries but then in the long run that's going to help you grow faster Sorry, yeah. <laughs> yeah so for me i think like for anyone like uh, to grow a business, I think it's very important to know your target market mm -hmm. and your customer persona, understanding your customers' needs, their pains and their problems. And also, like I said, having a digital, digital, digital presence is so important in today's world. Mm -hmm. If you have any, whether you're a small-time business or like, I mean, you know, like whatever, you know, I mean, wherever your business is, I think it's so important to have a digital presence mm -hmm. and also like always sticking to your core values and giving more value to your customers through your products and services. Okay. So well, important. thank you so yeah. much. That's beautiful. Uh, if people want to reach out to you guys, uh, can you, uh, how do they reach out to you? Social media handled or yeah. Yes. Social yes. media handled. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we'll put, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll put yeah. all the yeah. link in mm. the description. So if you want to follow them, if you want to buy the products, you can go there, right? And lastly, uh, do you think uh, for her, do you think makeup artists can be a good career in Nagaland? I think <clears throat> it's a really, really good scope. Uh, in fact, uh, as a makeup artist, especially if you're freelancing, you don't really have to do it full time. Like my students, I have some are like doctors, lawyers, mothers. Mm -hmm. It's so... Uh, Amusing, it's so nice to see like from different aspects of life, you know, and some of them come from work, come on all the way just for the classes because 
being a mom, being a full-time mom or being a lawyer, you can still <clears throat> do a makeup site. And <clears throat> it's really good money, like say for a waitress, a waitress that's, uh, or a salesperson, salary, the starting salary is equal to one party makeup. And that mm. is equal to like in one hour you can do your makeup. So that's why it's a really, really booming industry. Mm -hmm. And which is the reason why I came up with the academy because I want to bring a revolutionary change in Nagaland with the uh, beauty segment. Mm -hmm. So wow. I think it's a really good uh, business. Yeah. yeah, okay, awesome. And what's the next plan for Beauty Barn? What, what's your next future plan that, you know? I mean, <clears throat> for us also, we do have a lot of projects and plans coming up okay. and we like through our business we also want to empower more people to like you know mm -hmm. have financial freedom but mm -hmm. um i think only time will tell yes okay. yeah okay <laughs> so thank you so much but before yeah. we go we have a small uh gift from you guys you know a small token if you can bring it okay so uh thank you so we have this small uh, thank gift you from so you. much yeah. from fingerprints and, yeah fingerprints so and yes yes yeah <laughs> yeah shout you out to so fingerprints uh, yeah. you know one of the best you know, yeah. fingerprint out it here definitely, in, in, yes. yeah, definitely so if you guys we have given the description for fingerprints also so thank you so much ladies and we wish you all the best and yes thank you so much we had so much fun yeah, and same here yeah, we had an amazing time too yeah. yes so that's it from us thank you so much thank everybody so much. and goodbye and we'll see you next week